Hey guys, this is Hyder from Xtrace, and in this video, we're gonna go over options flow. So um, we have this tool here um, on our Xtrace app. So I'm currently on the website, um, on yeah, using my laptop. But if you go to the left here and then you click on options flow, um, yeah, you'll you'll be able to see the options flow for the current day, and uh, you can also see historical flow as well. But yeah, we'll just go over the basics here. So. Yeah, let's start off with the flow sentiment. So the flow sentiment is how um, how investors have basically placed themselves um, based on these uh, based on the current flow. If investors are more more bullish or more bearish. So if there's more call options uh, from the flow, then obviously we're more bullish, right? And vice versa. So call to put is this is like a ratio. So call flow is currently thirty nine million for today, and then the pull flow is thirty seven million so that this is the ratio for call to put pretty simple so the higher the call to put ratio is so if it's uh, a lot more over one then that's more bullish if it's a lot less a uh, lot if it's like 0 0.2 so way farther away from one um then it's more bearish so that's uh, pretty simple right so yeah call flow put flow call to put ratio and then flow sentiment so this is um this is the most these two are the most important things so you want to check if the flow is uh, bullish or bearish and then you want to check if it's high so if it's for example if it's two then that's very bullish if it's zero that's very bearish um but yeah that's that and now we'll take a look at the actual flow itself so we got date time so date of when uh, this flow came in the time of the flow the ticker the expiration date so these are all options so these are the expiration date of the option place that these people bought and then strikes um so this is yeah, the strike so this is just the option contract if it's a call or put strike expiration date and then the spot is where they bought the, where they bought that um where they bought that option in in, in terms of like stock price and then type <clears throat> there's a couple different types but um you don't learning all the different types of uh, float is a little bit complicated but from what I know sweeps are the most important ones sweeps are more significant because they happen uh, more aggressively compared to trade flows um, but yeah just know that sweep is more you should give sweep more significance compared to trade flows but that's that and then premium so this is how much um, how much the total cost of the trade was so this someone bought so someone today bought 1.52 million of IMW puts at 166 price, and the expiration date is 1.1924. So that's basically how you should read it. And then there's also open interest, volume, and execution. So if you ever see above ask, that's also another bullish sign. That means someone is very aggressive and they want to get in his AP. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that. And I currently have it filtered, so it's only showing me the premium where it was over $1 million. So these are all trades that someone bought for over a $1 million. So these are all significant because $1 million in options is a lot of money, a lot of risk, right? So if someone's putting that much money, there's a good chance that they might know something or um, yeah, they're making a big bet, so you want to follow that closely. So typically, when you're looking at flow, you want to disregard... Um, big names like IWM this is um, the Russell right so you want to avoid uh, like uh, stock indices so IWM avoid LI this is an individual stock so this is definitely one that you want to pay attention to someone's bullish on LI and uh, yeah you can also look at the expiration date to see how bullish they are if they are very bullish then they'll go uh, they'll go closer to the they'll have a closer expiration date so they'll only go one week or two weeks out, right? And same thing with the stock price. If it's very far away from the current stock price, that's another bullish sign. But those are the yeah two key things to tell uh, how bullish they are. And then plus above ask, if, that, if you see that, that's also another sign that's bullish. Um, but yeah, most of these typically are like indices like IWM or XLE, SMH, SOXX. These are usually indices, but there's also some individual names, right? like Amazon, Coca-Cola. So you wanna be paying attention to those 
um, Google, Square, things like that. Even the big cap tech stocks like Amazon, Microsoft, Google, even those aren't too significant because one million, oh, a $1 million trade is nothing for like a big cap tech stock like Google because it trades just so much volume, right? So you want to be paying attention to like the smaller names um, like AMD. AMD is still pretty big, but smaller than those names. But yeah, this one looks like uh, an aggressive play for AMD, Zillow, but things like that. Um, and then we also have a bunch of different filters. So if you want to look at calls or puts, um, yeah. And then the expiration date range, how much premiums I currently set it to 1 million or above, because those are like the big plays, right? I want to be focusing on the big plays. And yeah, that's basically why I put that filter. And then the contract price, minimum price, minimum stock price, things like that. And then we also have dark pools. So these are, <clears throat> so these are all options, right? Dark pool is basically the same exact thing, but for um, stocks, so like shares. So someone bought uh, this much amount of SQQ today, and these are all a bunch of different trades that happened. So 1.84 million on APO today, 5.25 million on ONON today, right? So these are big trades, and this is another thing that you want to be paying attention to. Um, if you see big trades like couple million like this one this one too then that's definitely a sign that something's going on there right apple 9.14 million apple's too big of a name for that to be significant but abc i'm not sure or i think i've heard of that stock actually but this one's not as big so this is definitely one you want to be paying attention to uh and nkla this is a really small cap name now um this one's definitely one that you want to be paying attention to but yeah um, but yeah, that's pretty much flow. So <clears throat> again, dark pool is the same thing, but just for stocks, for shares, and then this is for options. But yeah, I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you guys for listening.